Spring Thaw by Stephen Schnur. It begins with a warm wind late at night, sighing through the hemlock trees. Swaying branches and shaking loose the heavy snow that fell all day and turned fields and frozen lakes and distant rooftops white. The old house begins to creak as wooden floors breathe in the warm, moist air. Water trickles from the roof, drop by drop. A raccoon stirs in its winter den, then climbs up into the snow, its dark eyes shining in the white light of the rising moon. A round-bellied doe pauses at the edge of the woods, leaving behind heart-shaped hoof prints. By morning, thin streams of water snake down the window panes. A cardinal sings from the branch of a pine tree, then darts across the barnyard to peck at kitchen crumbs scattered over the melting snow. A wagon leaves the barn, its narrow wheels cutting deeply into the snow, turning it brown. The horse's hooves grow muddy. The sun climbs high into the blue sky. By mid-morning, a thousand tiny streams run from the roof like a curtain of crystal beads. Suddenly, a thick sheet of snow breaks free, slides toward the edge of the roof, and crashes to the ground. On a distant white hilltop, a patch of brown appears. A flock of geese settles upon it, pecking at the wet grass. Where the stream leaves the forest, the ice melts away. Black water ripples over gray stones, carving a glistening silver line across the meadow. All afternoon, the frozen lake echoes with the snapping and cracking of its icy surface. On the south side of the barn, the snow recedes, laying bare a small mountain of autumn hay. Three-week-old lambs burrow into it and fall asleep. By late afternoon, the maple buds grow faintly red. Buckets hanging from the syrup spiles spill over into the snow. The wagon stops along the edge of the wood. Two by two, the buckets are collected and emptied, then hung back on the trees. Before returning to the barn, the farmer pauses to watch the sunset. For the first time in months, the yellow light feels warm upon his face.